Hey y'all, it's your girl Cassie here. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. So this week I'm participating in the hashtag BLM planner challenge, Black Lives Matter planner challenge. Um, I will post a link to the two lovely planner babes who created this challenge. Uh, to my planner buddies, uh, Queen's Fancy Plans and Katie Did underscore plans on Instagram. I will link uh, their profiles in the description. Queen's Fancy Plans has a really, really great um, podcast as well. And everyone needs to listen to her latest episode. So I'm going to link all that down there in the lovely description box. But I'm really excited about this challenge, not only because of how important it is and how um, passionate I am about, about this challenge, um, but it's also exciting because the challenge is to use only black and white stickers. So what I did was I went through, uh, not all of my sticker books, but a lot, and I pulled out a bunch of black and white stickers that I can use uh, for the spread so I don't have to be flipping through all the books. Um, I am planning in my mini, as you can see, because I already did my spread in my classic before I learned about this challenge. That is also a theme for Black Lives Matter, but it does have a couple colors in it. These stickers are, um, again, from all different books. I got some of Kelva Plans, these stickers here. Um, so let's, let's just get into it. So the first thing I need to do is kind of obvious is color this, or cover uh, this little square because it ain't black or white. So I'm going to probably Let's see, I really like this, but it's see-through, so I would need white behind it. Um, actually, we're gonna use this one. Let's see if that'll cover without using white out underneath. I think it will. Perfect, all right. Oh, and I already used like numbers here. Um, and those are, y'all, I can't tell you what book those are from. They're from a book. It's some book, some sticker book. It's not a Happy Planner book. It's one of my, uh, American Crafts books. Anyway, I already, uh, numbered it because this is an undated planner. Just, you know, FYI. I think I might layer this important one over the lines here. It's kind of cool. So this is, like I said, my mini. Um, this is my social media planner. So I didn't use it this week because I was, um, I did not post at all this week other than um, I posted for the, I posted the black square and then I also posted um, a picture of me from high school and all my Obama stuff and just wrote about a specific experience I had in high school uh, involving race and um, that's all I've done. I haven't posted any planner photos because and I'm not judging anyone who is but as a white woman I just feel it's really selfish of me to be posting planner photos particularly when I'm not making any money off this. This is not my business. It's not my livelihood. It's just for fun. So to me just posting planner photos like it's like nothing's wrong seems very weird so that's why I have not been posting again no shade um you know no, I'm not shaming anyone who is I'm just just speaking the truth here so I'm gonna just start layer I'm gonna try not to overthink this too much um the one I did in my classic I didn't really overthink and it ended up being like one of my favorite spreads ever a lot of the times I end up just really uh <laughs> overthinking just like everything else in my life I'll cut that I'll make that pretty later um and uh then I get like I don't know I get kind of anxious and like overwhelmed and then my spread ends up not being as good as when I just kind of go with the flow so here I'm gonna write um maybe I'm still I'm still not sure maybe like important hashtags to use um, because even though I'm going to go back to posting planner content next week or, um, yeah, 
because even though I'm going to go back to posting uh, planner content, I do want to continue to post um, messages just supporting the Black community, ways that I can educate myself, ways that I can be a better ally, because while I've always considered myself an ally, um, I haven't done enough and I haven't been active enough um, in being an ally and I feel a lot of guilt for that, so I'm trying to be better. Um, and so I'm going to try to use my platform, even though it ain't that big. Um, every single one of you on here means a lot to me. So I appreciate everyone who has subscribed or if you follow me on Instagram or anything. I appreciate it, but I'm going to use the voice that I have to spread messages that I believe in. And this is something I strongly believe in. So if you have a problem with Black Lives Matter, um, you can just click right on off of this video. It ain't gonna hurt me one bit, so. All right, so I'm gonna use June up here. I was trying to decide if I wanted to like layer June over something, but I mean, I don't really need to. Unless I do, I really like these stripe stickers, but I don't, I don't know if I like that for the top. I hope you guys are uh, doing okay. I'd like to echo something that my therapist told me today. I told him, you know, he asked, how you doing? And so I just told him. I told him that I've been struggling. And I feel guilty saying that as a white woman, that I've been struggling. Um, because it's not, you know, people are dying. And I'm sitting here saying, oh, woe is me. Um... But I am an empath, and I know a lot of y'all are empaths as well. And when you're an empath, um, the kind of stuff that's going on right now, it can really be hard to, I like this, <clears throat> to, um, or, it, well, really, it can be easy to get down um, with that, you know, when the world is seemingly falling apart and people are dying and we're still in a pandemic, um, it can be very easy to get down and to get into a, a really bad place mentally. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, I, whew, my depression has been uh, rough. It's something I've always dealt with. And always will deal with, I am sure, for the rest of my life. Um, I don't really like that there. But um, I have felt guilt about it. Because what, what right do I have to be depressed right now? I'm a white woman. I'm employed in a pandemic. Okay. And I, I do not, like, take that for granted. Uh, I, I realize how many people don't have jobs right now. And I am very, very thankful to still be employed. Not only full-time, but part-time as well. And, um, and so it's hard. It's hard for me to, to say. It was hard for me to even say to my therapist. I'm depressed. I'm having a tough time. That's, it's hard to say because it's like, bitch, you're privileged. And you know what? I also, let me say this. Cause I'm just feeling some type of way tonight. I try not to curse on here. I don't think I ever have. Um, and that's because I've always tried to fit this mold of all these other planner babes that they don't curse and they're all perfect and <laughs> like seemingly perfect and they, they don't have potty mouths and everything. But for me to not curse at all, and obviously I don't want to be obnoxious, but for me to not curse at all is just not authentic to me. I curse a lot. That's just, it's part of me. It, it, ask anybody who knows me. I think they're just words. I don't see what the big deal is about saying a curse word. Who deemed it a curse word? I don't know. Um, I think it's silly, to be perfectly honest, um, that people judge people for using curse words they're just they're just words anyway so I never curse on here um but I'm really gonna try to be more authentically myself 
because um because why why am I trying to like fit a mold that that is not me like it's not me so anyway that was just something else I'm gonna say so <sighs> but yeah it, I mean it's been it's been hard to like deal with my feelings lately because I feel guilty for being depressed during a time when my people are not being oppressed. My people are not dying um, at the hands of police. And uh, it's, it's hard. It's, it's very hard for me to... Um, cat hair. There's cat hair. It's very hard for me to... Um, come out and say, you know what? I'm having a tough time. And my therapist said, he said, if you feel like, he said, I want to tell you this. If you feel like you are getting really down and you're on social media and you're seeing all this stuff and it's really upsetting you, I don't want you to feel like you can't take a break. So I want you to get off of social media and that doesn't mean that you aren't a, being a good ally. That doesn't mean that you are weak, that you are doing something wrong. He said, but we need to take care of ourselves. Um, that goes for everybody. And being on social media 24 seven um, at any time is bad, but particularly when you're on and not only are you seeing videos and, and images, um, I, I finally watched the video of George Floyd's murder. And I'm going to keep saying murder because a lot of people keep saying George Floyd's death as if it wasn't a murder. It was a murder. Let's call it what it is. It was a murder. Okay. Um, and I saw the video and it... Um, I haven't, I haven't, um, gotten the image out of my head and I kind of wish that I didn't watch it, but I also thought that I needed to, um, just because, you know, I don't know, I just thought I, I needed to see it and, um, you know, rest in peace to him and, and I just, um, like his daughter said, you know, her daddy changed the world, and uh, I really, truly hope that this is the beginning, uh, the beginning of a new era in America. Um, we're really, like Sweet Southern Planning said in her video, um, it, it's we're seeing history repeat itself, and it's it's hard for a lot of us to believe. I mean, it's hard for me to believe, like. Is this really happening? Like, it's 2020, like, and see, I'm privileged, so I don't, I didn't realize this stuff was going on still. I mean, I did to an extent. I, I obviously, you know, Trayvon Martin, I was very upset when that happened, and that affected me. Um, but I, you know, I just kind of said, well, I guess... Uh, there's nothing I can do, so why am I going to uh, get really upset about it and, and everything? And I think that's how everybody felt, because it's such a systemic issue. It's, it's you know, not a an issue of, you know, one person doing something. It's, it's the whole system. The whole system is designed to oppress black people and people of color and so the, I mean the system is working the way it was designed I saw someone post that you know people say the system's broken and it's not broken <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's doing exactly what it was designed to do and that's the problem we need a reform. It's 
very hard to um, it's very hard to recognize that um, you have been around people who are part of the problem. That's a hard that's a hard thing. So anyway, um, with this this spread, with the actual planning of it, I think I'm going to give myself more of like a like a guide rather than I've been really kind of seeing what works for me. Y'all saw my social media plan with me a few weeks ago, where I was doing like. I was color coordinating, like I was using different colored pens to say, okay, this goes on Instagram, and this goes on Facebook, and this goes on YouTube, and whatever. And I feel like when I do that and I say, okay, on Friday, I'm going to post this on Instagram, this specific photo. I feel like it puts me in a box and I end up feeling like if I get inspired to post something else that I can't post it. And it just, I don't know, it just wasn't really working 100% for me. What I think works better is giving myself ideas. Don't hold yourself to like, oh my God, you have got to post this picture on Friday. Just give yourself ideas. And, um, you know, if, if something changes or, I mean, like, I had a bunch of stuff scheduled for this week. I had, you know, it was uh, National Donut Day. I had a whole a really cute spread for that. Um, I am going to post it next week. Maybe I'll do like, Throwback Thursday to last week. Here's my spread or, or something. I don't know. Um, but I really, um, again, I just did not feel that it was appropriate to be posting about donuts when, again, I'm I'm not <laughs> not shaming anyone who who did. Just saying for me, I did not feel right about posting that stuff, so I didn't. Um, but I took the photos, I might as well post them. Who cares if they're for last week? Does it really even matter? Does it matter what week they're from? It's still spread. You know? Um, I'm gonna white out this line because I think it might look kind of cool to have the line, uh, whited out. And maybe it would look totally stupid, but, you know. how far I need to go there. Ooh, just a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. This can't stop, won't stop, I thought was perfect. Um, because I can't, I mean, it's, it, it really is truly perfect. I can't stop talking about this. I can't stop being uncomfortable, having uncomfortable conversations, and I won't stop. Um, so I thought that was perfect. So I'm going to use this somewhere. I might, might layer it. And I'm not necessarily going to use all these. I just took out some ones that I thought I might want to use, just FYI. Um... No. And this choose kindness, I thought it was perfect. I really wanted to use this to find it, declare it, devote to it. But I may actually use this in my um my journaling bleh, journaling section of my memory keeping book. Cause I'm gonna do some journaling as well, so um can't decide what I want to do with this. Let's put it, let's put it down for now. I want to use these Black Lives Matter stickers. I took the stickers out. I want to use them. I just don't know where. Maybe up here? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use Mary Ellen's uh ruler trick, because I don't know why I never did this before. Thank you, Mary Ellen. Planning with Bumble. If you are not subscribed to Planning with Bumble, you need to change that. 
but um, something I want to do just a simple really a simple thing I can do that I think everyone should do is and I'm a, okay I'm gonna be real y'all I'm gonna be real so something else I've done um, that I haven't really been up front with you guys about is you know since I apply for a squad um Dee. It's my cat. She's saying hi. That's Dit. She said hi. Um I can't I can't talk with her doing that. So since I applied for the Happy Planner Squad, um I have been using only Happy Planner stickers because in case I made the squad, I wanted to, because I know when you make the squad, you have to just use Happy Planner products. I get that as it's marketing, yeah, whatever. Um, and so I haven't been using, like these, these stickers are not Happy Planner. These are from, again, one of my American crafts books that I got it um, Tuesday morning. Um, and I'm gonna change that big time because I have realized um, that I do not, you know, the happy player does not pay me. I do not have, you know, allegiance to this brand as much as I, you know, love this brand. Um, I do have some, some issues with them that I hope are addressed. And I'm just going to say that I'm not going to go into it too much because Queen does a much better job than I could. Uh, Queen's Fancy Plans, um, her podcast, again, I will link it in the description. She does a really great job um, of explaining. And she's like a happy planner, like, Stan. Like, she, yeah. So she totally gets it. So, um, like she said, I'm going to take a break from, from buying happy planner stuff, which I haven't really been buying anything anyway, so it <laughs> makes it real easy for me, but... Um, I just want to see some change from the brand as far as representation. So, um, hmm, I don't know where I could always like stack it. I could do black lives and then matter underneath. I could do black, um, hmm, black. No. I think I'm going to do it here, and I'm going to, like, spread out the, yeah. I'm going to do it here. Oh, but anyway, something simple I can do, like, the easiest thing I can do is start supporting Black-owned um, sticker shops, planner companies, um, just little things that I can do that, you know, I've just realized, like, what am I doing? Like, why am I being, why am I acting like I work for Happy Planner? Why am I acting like they're paying me? Because they ain't. Um, and why am I just using their products exclusively and thinking, like, that it's not okay for me to use stickers from someone else? It's, like, the dumbest thing. I don't know why I've been like that, but, again, I think it was just because I applied for the squad and I was just trying to like have this image of like, I'm a huge happy planner fan and I only use your products and whatever. But there are some really great, um, black owned planner companies, sticker shops, all, all kinds of stuff. The black planner community is huge and I want to start supporting that. And I'm going to, um, I can't remember offhand right now who someone came up with a great list of black owned um, planner shops and companies and things. I'll put that in the description as well. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't remember. <laughs> I've been, uh, there's been a lot on social media, so it's hard to remember who said what. This is, I'm trying to figure out how I want to space out these letters. I kind of want to do like, Let's see if I can figure this out. 
I'm gonna try my best here, y'all. Um, I can do I could get like real precise with this and actually use the ruler and like measure it out, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this a chit chat plan with me. You know, we have chit chat, get ready with me as if you're in the beauty community um, or if you follow the beauty community, not if you're in it or if you're in it. Um, but why not a chit chat plan with me? All right. Um, I'm just kind of wing again. I'm trying not to really overthink this too much because then I start stressing myself out. There, yeah, that's cute, ain't it? I think the M and A are a little too close, but hey, ain't done in the world. Okay, I don't want to get too crazy, then I, I'm not going to have room to write. I really, I wanted to use a sticker, but I don't want it to say today. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't really like that at all. I kind of wanted to use this, but I'm not sure now if I do or not. Let's just see how it looks. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. This might be totally ugly and stupid but <laughs> try it <laughs> that's different that's kind of cool i want to use the upload photos and all that once i figure out what i'm doing maybe oh 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 hold up hold up hold up this might be it the blacks don't match again, but mm, it's all right. Um, I'll just do it to the edge here. It covers up that cute little like folder kind of thing, but I'm mm, sorry. Right. Does that look stupid? Nah, it's cute. Choose kindness. I'm gonna put. I feel like I need to use that as perfect. Cause honey, if you're not choosing kindness right now, what are you doing? What are you doing? I cannot tell y'all the amount of like little fuzzies that get. Oh, I don't like how that's on the line. I don't like how that's on the line. Uh, I could. Oh, how did this get so crooked? What in the world? I swear I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Oh gosh. Mm. Oh, my head is pounding. I really see what I mean when I start overthinking. Mm. Okay. It's fine. It's good. It's all good. This is like sticking over the edge here. I'm about to go crazy. cutting it now that it's so short you know what I ain't got time for that watch this watch this boom done all right um 
Ooh, can't stop, won't stop. I already used that, didn't I? Didn't I use can't stop, won't stop? Oh no, I couldn't figure out where to put it, so I'm gonna use this one. Because it's smaller and it'll be easier to fit. All right, y'all, so I think that is it for these stickers for my BLM challenge, Black Lives Matter challenge in my mini. I hope you guys like the spread. Um, I encourage you to participate if this is something that um, you are interested in, which you should be. Um, and again, I will put the, I'll put everything in the description. The hashtag, the accounts to tag who came up with the challenge, the uh, uh, Queen's podcast and um, black uh, sticker shops and planner companies and, and all that. I'm going to link everything in the, the description. So I hope you guys like this spread and I'm going to uh, clean up the edges here a little bit of the washi and then I'm going to sit down and really um, think of some, some things to post off camera for uh, next week. So um, hope you guys are hanging in there, staying safe. We're still in a pandemic. I know places are reopening. Please be safe. I just can't stress that enough. I don't, I, I'm not comfortable, uh, going out in public and sitting down at restaurants and acting like everything's hunky dory because I'm scared of the mere resurgence. And that's just me. I just, Whatever y'all do, be safe. I'm not judging you no matter what you do. Um, unless you're somebody who's saying all lives matter. Then I'm judging you. But um, anyway, thank y'all for watching. <laughs> um, be sure to, to subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.